We are showing here today the new Studio Matbox SMB1. Um, till now we have the um, LMB1 series, like lightweight Matbox, MMB1, mini Matbox. And till now we had this MB something. So we decided to have SMBs now, Studio Matbox. The big feature about the Studio Matbox, this is like for filters up to 6.6 .6 inch at 6.6 .6 inch. And the big feature is the tilt module. It's built inside. And if you have any problems with filter reflections, you can just tilt down or you can tilt up. You can use this whip or without the whip, just by hand, and it's very easy. And like this, you can avoid reflections. I don't think you can avoid any reflections, but a lot of them, I'm pretty sure. The other feature of this matte box are the stackable filter stages. So I turned around the matte box to show it better to you. So you can just release the whole, mat, uh, the whole filter stage. We have a two filter stage and a single filter stage and you can divide them into the two filter stage version and the single version and the back plate and you can just stack them together as many as you want. So it's not necessary now to carry a two filter stage, a three filter stage, a four filter stage. You just have these kind of elements and you stack them together. Um, every filter tray has its own tray catcher. So now, if you are like afraid that, that they can fall through, you just close it here with, by the, with the tray catcher, and then it's locked down. So there's one gear tray in the two filter stage, and they're all rotating, and you have the back plate, and if you want, you can also put the back plate directly onto the mat box and use it without any filter. So that's a really modular system. Um, the other interesting thing is that the Studio Matte Box comes with two different sunshades. There's the regular 4x3 sunshade and then we have an anamorphic version. So it's also the first Matte Box in the market which has an anamorphic sunshade, which, is, which you can see at, on the other camera together with the Master Prime 135mm. Um, we have an accessory bracket on top for UDM or cine tape. Uh, what else? We have... Um, an advanced um, swing away system. We have the extension built inside like usual and we have a single lock locking system as well. So you don't need to lock from both sides, just one lock and it will lock both sides but it's just one side operation. We also um, worked on our uh, flag adjusters. They are like really heavy duty adjusters and we implemented a quick adjust so if you want to change the position very quickly, very fast, you can do it like this. And at the same time, you have the precise adjustment built inside in the back. We have different mats available. You can see here, that's the mat, for example, for the anamorphic hood. You see, it will not fit in here, but just to have an, an idea how the anamorphic hood will look like. And then we have um, mats for, this, for the regular sunshade, but also with the anamorphic um, two to one ratio. So if you want to shoot anamorphic, you can also do it by, with the four by three sunshade. And then we have the regular sunshades for spherical shooting, and we have a new one, which is um, the one which makes everything black. It's just for protection. So if you have a break, if there's dust, and um, you can just protect your lens by putting this mat into the mat. So if you tilt the matte box, sometimes the regular filtering will not, meet, will not fulfill your needs. So that's why we made a special tilting filtering for um, bigger angles. So you can tilt down 15 degrees and you can tilt up, up to 10 degrees. So that's why we made this filtering. You can have um, a six inch round filter in the front and on the back you have the possibility to use the reduction rings for all the lenses you need. Hi, how's it going? This is Snehal speaking from the Airy booth at NAB. Uh, I'm here with DV Info and Omega Broadcast. And I just want to tell you a little bit about our wireless system. We had a wonderful three axis wireless system that was based off of our WCU4 that worked really well with our Alexa Plus cameras because you were able to see lens data information from the cameras and uh, be able to see distance measure as well and do all the controls from here. 
and be able to change some functions and, and things on the cameras themselves and of course start recording. Now what we've done is brought this system to other cameras by this new, system, uh, new box called the UMC4, which is a motor control box. And this actually controls the motors and allows you to do focus iris and zoom. And the best thing is that it allows you to use metadata from the lenses. So once a lens is chosen, if it's an airy lens, or if it's a non-airy lens, it can be programmed uh, with an iPad or iPhone app or a, or a web page on a, on a computer laptop. Once you do that, and it's saved in here, that lens data table, now I'm going to get the metadata transmitted from the lens. It's going to figure out exactly where it's at according to the motors and send that information to my, my hand unit. So this gives me a really powerful edge in being able to have the tools for the focus puller, but not only that, tools for other people on set like the operator and DP that allow this camera to have a lot more functionalities. Not only can I have one unit on this uh, camera, I can have three different units controlling three different things. In this case, I have a zoom unit, which is actually wired to the camera right over here, and this is like a, a microforce type of uh, um, hand unit, and that allows you to control zoom. So the operator can control zoom, the AC can control focus, and then I can actually get a second hand unit, a single channel unit, and allow the DP or DIT to control iris. And all this happens with one radio system, you don't need any extra uh, equipment. Once you get everything plugged in, it's, a, it's all a matter of selecting iris on or off over here and turning on iris in another unit and that's it and you're good to go. So I think that uh, if people take a look, they'll see that Area has really now made a system that's quite powerful, deals with metadata and is a lot smarter than all our previous systems and I think that it's really going to be doing well for us. Thank you.